Hello and herzlich willkommen. Hello and welcome to the world premiere of the new 911 GT3. Here you will find all the vehicles that we exhibit from time to time in the museum, and we are surrounded by so much history. The GT3 turned 25 this year. This car was presented in 1999 at the Geneva Motor Show. A legend was born. The race-ready driving machine and the 911 portfolio. Walter Röhr did a lap on the Nordschleife in it in eight minutes, even slightly under. The car is a race-capable driving machine with road approval. This was actually the birth of the GT3. The second-generation 996, this car has even more differentiation from the Carrera. Interior revamped accordingly. Lighter seats, an engine that delivers 21 horsepower more and can rev up to 8200 RPM instead of 7600. With a 997 model that we see here, the GT3 became a permanent fixture in the 911 model range. 415 horsepower, in this case 8400 RPM. And it was increased again in the second generation car we see here, 3.8 liters, 8500 RPM. Racing technology wherever you looked. Its own brakes and a lift system for the customer was possible for the first time. This made it possible to lower the car and refine the aerodynamics even further. Getting even faster required the use of technology. The 991 platform gave us every opportunity here. This car was developed with a completely new 3.8-liter direct injection engine. A completely new engine, 9,000 RPM, 475 horsepower, coupled to an ultra-fast shifting PDK gearbox. The sport version was specially tuned for the GT3. With a 991 second generation that we see here, the manual gearbox was back. There was also a touring version for the first time. That is, a GT3 version without a rear wing for the driver. This brings us to the current 992 generation. The GT3 in the 992 version once again offers a quantum leap in technology. Double wishbone front axle, aerodynamics borrowed directly from the racing car, easily recognizable by the swan neck suspension, an even lighter chassis. This car, also available in a touring variant, was the most successful 911 GT3 to date. So much for history, but now we're looking forward to what lies ahead. It was not easy for us to make an almost perfect car even better. That is why we have had an extensive dialogue with our customers, and the result is here, the new 911 GT3. The heart of the GT3, it is still as it should be. A high revving, naturally aspirated engine, 4 liters, 9,000 RPM, 510 horsepower. This time, however, coupled to a gearbox with 8% shorter gear ratios, similar to a 911 ST special model. 8% shorter gear ratios means more traction in every situation. But that's not all. The entire car is a little tighter in terms of styling than its predecessor with aerodynamic revisions, particularly non-visible ones in terms of the gearbox and drive shaft cooling, but also in terms of brake cooling. We see the car here with an option package, the Weissach package, familiar from the RS models, for the first time now also available in the normal 911 GT3. Many carbon elements. It starts with the air blades in the front and continues to the mirrors, the side blades of the rear wing, and finally the interior. Magnesium wheels. These wheels alone are 9 kilograms lighter than the original alloy wheels. So, now we know what it looks like and what it's got inside. But most importantly, how does it feel? <laughs> the sound. The sound. The driving pleasure. Amazing. It's unbelievable how the car works, ultra precise. The 8% shorter gear ratio is definitely great on tight and winding sections. This makes it even better in the perfect engine speed range, especially in terms of the shock platform. Here in the curves too, 
the car absorbs waves really perfectly. Another huge step forward, especially with the brakes. You can hardly notice any pitching movements. This is big time stuff here. Jörg is in his element in the car. This may be due in part to the fact that he finds a similar working atmosphere here to that in his racing cars. We have a new full bucket seat, and it has some advantages and gimmicks which I'll show you quickly. As soon as I'm on the track, as Jörg is at the moment, I wear a helmet, for safety and for regulatory reasons. In order to improve ergonomics and simply create more freedom of movement for the head, the headrest can be disengaged up here, which frees up additional space to ensure a more upright head position with a helmet. The seat is also foldable. By pulling a loop here, the backrest can be unlocked, folded forward, and the loading situation for the driver is much improved. Clear advantage over a fixed shell. Otherwise, what we see in the interior is the elements of the Weissach package. Race tags on the dashboard. We have a carbon interior door handle. We have a lightweight door panel with a luggage net here. What a car. But that's not all. For the first time in the 25-year history of the 911 GT3, we are presenting two variants of the GT3 at the same time. Let's set the stopwatch aside. Let's turn to winding country roads. Let's turn to the customers who like to drive on Sundays just for fun. And for them, the GT3 with touring package is just the thing. And here the new 911 GT3 with touring package. The athlete in pinstripes, so to speak. Slightly more discreet than its winged sibling. It's still just as trackworthy, but this is more of a driver's car. 510 horsepower, 9000 RPM on the engine side. In this case, touring is standard with six-speed manual gearbox. And optionally also with a PDK gearbox. We interviewed a number of customers, and there was always one topic that came up in particular, Please give us a four-seater with the Touring. We have a rear seat system that can be selected as an option. Those who want the car even more sporty, even more purist, can choose the Leichtbau package. It is very similar to the Weissach package, including magnesium wheels that significantly reduce weight, but also includes other features around the car. We use leather, partially embossed leather on the dashboard, and we use textile inlays as seat center services. The new 911 GT3 with Touring Package. For me, it's the perfect new 911 for country roads. And not just for me, I think Walter Röhrl feels the same way. My job in principle is always to check the performance of the car. I have to drive fast and make sure that the car is still reasonably easy for the customer to control at the limit. That's what matters to me. The new steering is just as direct as the old one, but less nervous coming out of the zero position. It's very important that the seat holds my body, so that my hands are free just for steering. Transplanting these jeans from a racing car into a production car, just as you would expect from Porsche. Despite all the regulations that exist, we still have a very compelling sound that just gives me this motivation, that feeling that I am sitting in a racing car, and that just gives me a thrill when I see the tachometer, hear the sound, and that reminds me of my active racing days. Driving a sports car, and on the other hand, a completely normal everyday car. Only Porsche masters this balance, and you can really feel it again with the touring. Dear sports car enthusiasts, it's a special moment for me too. The simultaneous world premiere of two GT3 models. 
One more for the track, the other more for the road. But both offer an exceptional, unique and quintessential GT3 driving experience. Both are even more emotional, even more individual and exactly aligned with the wishes of our customers. For more information, please visit Porsche.com or the Porsche Newsroom. I thank you for your attention and bid you farewell. Many thanks and goodbye.